nine miles to go if I was on the highway. Of course, I'm not on the highway. I'm going through the mountains on dirt roads. Let me tell you, it's not fun. Going down one of these. Fun. That guy kicked me off the interstate. Totally unsafe out there. Almost there. Yeah. Offer up a piece of advice. You close your eyes, you never have to see. If I close my eyes, I never have to see. Here I come, California, ready or not. Just about a half a mile to go. I'm on my way. Here it comes, people, here it comes. Last state line. California. Hi, my name is Skip Potts. On September 1st, 2008, I started walking across America for PFEE.org, People for Educational Equality. This is part of my story. When daylight falls and morning crawls. How hot is it? Hold on, let me show you. Welcome to California. The conversations halting. Every eye is left gazing somewhere I left Blythe earlier today, and it's pretty hot. I need to take a little break, keep walking at night, so this looks like home for an hour or two. So as I said, I uh, came out here to get a little bit of rest, get out of the sun, and a little while ago, uh, a guy drove up. He'd passed me earlier, and uh, his name is Marvin, and uh, he brought me he brought me a cold drink, ice cold, um, and we talked a little bit, and he invited me to stay at his place tonight. So I'm gonna rest a little while tonight, or rest a little while, and he's gonna come and, and pick me up and drop me back off here in the morning, and um, I just feel like really lucky. Too, to be uh, in a country where this kind of stuff happens all the time. I mean, it means a lot just to be able to get some food and a shower and have a roof over your head and, and know that people are thinking about you even if they don't know you. It's nice. about 
12 miles in to the 100 mile walk from Blythe, California to Indio, California. It's really hot. Kind of going right through the center of the Mojave, which is probably one of the reasons why in that 100 mile stretch, there aren't any towns. There's a gas station and two rest areas, one of which is closed. And luckily enough, my cousin came out to join me for this part of the trip. So, Kathy, yes. what do you think about the Mojave so far? My cousin came out to join me for this part of the trip just for the next few days to get me across this desert, which is really helpful because I don't have to push my cart. So instead of going off a couple extra dozen miles in a different direction where it's legal to walk, I'm just walking right off the side of the interstate where nobody's gonna bother me or call but it's straighter and I still get the benefit of those rest areas and uh, that gas station it should take me three or four days to get across the desert the thing that's the most interesting out here is that I'm going on this little path on the other side of the fence from the highway and, well, there's footprints. Somebody else walked this recently. I kind of wonder who they are what the hell they were doing. <laughs> Whew. I reached the rest area and I found the other guy that I was following across the desert. Here he is. Can you just tell me your name? Yeah, hi. My name is uh, Anthony Fawns. Yeah. And what what caused you to be walking across this desert? <laughs> well, besides, uh, the truth is I'm headed to Santa Barbara to help fight the fires that's breaking out up there. You know, um, I figured they could use as much help as they could get. I saw it on the news. And uh, I don't know. I think, you know, it's similar to you trying to help people. I'm trying to help people too. See if I can't get him a ride uh, a little further into the desert since he doesn't have to walk. <laughs> it is May 19th in the evening, as you might be able to tell. I was doing a little bit of night walking and uh, taking advantage of the slightly cooler night air. Uh, I'm in fact, absolutely. <laughs> and I didn't get too far, but. I have an excuse. My cousin, the one that's helping me through the through the desert, her her car battery died. So uh, I went about five miles and then went a little bit back to wait with her. We're trying to figure out if she can get it charged from AAA or not or something. But having fun. It's it's fun out here with my cousin around. There's a bug. Sorry. With my cousin around, it's fun. Um, I'm tracking a bunch of bugs with the car light. But you can't see me if I turn it off. It's good to have my cousin along. It's good to have a little bit of fun and relax a little bit out here. Um, fucking bugs. And I know that some people in my family... And